Okay, so the name of the game today, rounded binary versus ternary. What's the difference? How can you tell? So here's a quick little chart you can use to help make the decision between whether the thing you're looking at is rounded binary versus ternary. They both look like ABA, they're both going to have similar features, uh, but what are the specific things we can look for to make that happen? Let's check it out. All right, the difference between rounded binary, RB, and ternary, T, can really boil down to these three questions. And how you answer these three questions will help you to determine whether or not something is rounded binary or ternary. Since they share a lot of traits and there's gonna be a lot of mixing, sometimes you'll get traits of a rounded binary, but it's ultimately a ternary or vice versa. But this chart can help to sort some things out. So you think about these three questions. Number one, is the BA part of the ABA form repeated? Um, if it is repeated, that's a trait of rounded binary. If it's not repeated, that's a trait of ternary. So, rounded binary, yes. Ternary, no. Typically, right? So you can just look at that. And that's a very easy thing to just assess by looking at the score and you can see, is that true, yes or no? Does all of A return? Uh, for this question, if all of A does return, that's gonna be a trait of ternary. If only half or part of A comes back, that's gonna be a trait for rounded binary. And then the last question, which is arguably the most important, and you can sort of see as a tiebreaker um, between if these two things are suggesting different things, suggesting rounded binary or ternary, this last section is gonna be the tiebreaker. How stable is B? And a rounded binary is typically not going to be stable, whereas in a ternary, it will be a stable section. Now, what determines stability in the B section? Well, it's things we've been talking about in class. Is there a well-defined key for the B section? Is it confirmed with a cadence, other than a, maybe a concluding half cadence? Does the section end open or closed? A closed ending will suggest more stableness than an open ending. Are there a lot of sequences in that section? A lot of sequences will promote instability, whereas a more traditional harmonic progression, functional progression, will suggest stability. So again, the three questions here. Is the BA section repeated? The answer to that question is yes, that suggests rounded binary, no, ternary. Does all of A return? If yes, that suggests ternary, and if no, that suggests rounded binary. And then how stable is B? If Stable, if B is stable as its own independent section, that suggests ternary, versus an unstable B section which suggests rounded binary. So use these three questions in this chart to sort of help you navigate as to whether something you're looking at is rounded binary or ternary. Now even with this chart, we still room for debate as to whether one thing is rounded binary or ternary, but it can offer some good discussion, but this at least helps you to focus your thoughts and your discussion about making that final formal determination between the two. We'll continue to keep talking about this in class.